Hello and thank you for watching IT Pro TV. I am Zach and this is Don and we're talking about Apple certified support professional Mac OS 11 for Big Sur. Great, great course. And Don, tell us a little bit about yourself before we get going. All right, so I'm Don Pizzette. I am co-founder of IT Pro TV, but also one of the edutainers here. I have worked with Apple computers for a long, long time. Long I actually time. supported a uh, <laughs> uh, Apple network for a law firm back in 1995. Uh, and so I've been working with Macs in a professional sense for over 25 years now. Uh, and it has been quite a ride, a really exciting technology to work with. But I also hold certification from other vendors like Microsoft, Cisco, uh, uh, project management type stuff. It doesn't really apply to, to the Mac side. Uh, but I have worked in the field as well. I've had to support Macs like this, and that's really what this the series is all about, is supporting Mac computers. So it's a, a fun one, and one that I've got a, a unique background in. And he certainly has the credentials to do just that. Now, I'm Zach Memis, and I've been with IT Pro TV going on four years, just about four years. Uh, very heavy broadcast background, radio, television, even motion pictures. Uh, I do have a lot of experience working in the IT field here at IT Pro TV. I've worked with Don on previous Apple courses, and I'm so glad to be here. But enough about me. Let's talk about this course, Don. What can the learner gain from viewing the whole course? All right, well, you know, you can gain a lot. It's really going to be focused on how you manage Macs on a network and how you support them. So if you work in a, a business that has Macs deployed and you're the person people call when they have problems, well, we're going to run over all of the different things you need to know about a Mac to keep them healthy, happy, and running smoothly. So that's one big thing that you can gain. If you're coming from a Windows background and moving into Macs, this is a great course to get you ramped up on how everything works under the hood so that you can kind of learn the mechanisms and actually use these yourself. But if you're somebody who's been using Macs for a while already, you'll still gain something because you'd be surprised the various features that your users dig into, and there's a lot of features that are hidden underneath Mac OS's easy to use interface that we'll get a chance to see all throughout this series, as well as special troubleshooting tools to help you find and isolate and hopefully resolve problems that your users have. Well, I'm already excited about it, and I've been in every episode. <laughs> so so as, as we move on, how is the course structured? Uh, how are the episodes structured, Don? Sure. So, you know, we follow our standard 20-minute episode uh, time frame. So every episode is, is broken up into that 20-minute window. Mm -hmm. And we're going to run through things from kind of what I consider start to finish. So start, we're going to focus on how to get Mac OS installed on a machine, some of the different installation options. Then we'll talk about how we do the initial configuration, get it connected to the network and other settings that are required just to get the Mac ready to use. Once that's done, we'll move into more advanced things like creating user accounts and groups, managing permissions, uh, installing software, configuring security settings on the Mac to make sure it's secure as possible. Each of those we're just going to handle piece by piece as we go through. So you can watch the series as a whole if you want, or you can just jump right into a particular area. If you just want to learn about networking, jump right into that networking section. And then at the end, we're going to focus on troubleshooting, all the different things that can go wrong in Mac OS land. We'll talk about using technologies like time machine, diagnostic mode, target mode, and all these other various functions that are part of Mac OS to be able to fix our problems and get our systems back up and running. And those were a lot of terrific episodes. Uh, and Now what about practice labs, exams, downloadables? All right, well, unfortunately due to Apple's licensing, we can't do practice labs on this one. They, they only allow you to virtualize Mac OS running on Mac hardware. But if you already have a Mac, you can spin up Macintosh virtual machines and create your own labs at, at no cost, very easy. If you're on a Windows machine, it's a different story. You can use services like AWS, where they have hosted Macs that you can remote into and experiment with there uh, as well. Uh, practice exams are not available for this one either. Uh, that's because it's just not, honestly, it's not uh, that terribly popular of a certification. It's a very valuable cert and extremely useful, but the Apple market share is smaller than Windows and other places, so there's not a, uh, a practice exam for this one. Uh, but Otherwise, you can go through the course. We do have our full Q&A forums and other resources available. If you have questions, you can ask them. We'll make sure you get the answers you need. Fantastic. Uh, so there are some downloadables, of, uh, downloadables available to you as well. All right, let's talk about this. You've mentioned it briefly, certification. There is a certification here. I'm guessing it's ACSP. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, so Apple has scaled back their certification yeah. program quite a bit, and this is one of the only certifications left from Apple, the Apple Certified Support Professional. And there used to be a number of courses you could pick from and different tests you can take to get that certification, now there's only one. The official course is called the Mac OS Support Essentials, is the official Apple course that you can take, and then the exam is the Apple Certified Support Professional. This course on IT Pro TV is designed to help get you ready for the Apple Certified Support Professional exam. It covers 
all of the content included in the macOS Support Essentials course, but it also covers some additional materials and things to get you really ready for that exam and really ready for the real world where things are a little bit different than an exam. So that's our goal is to get you ready for it. When you're ready, when you take the course, you understand the material, you're comfortable with it, then you can go and schedule the exam through Apple. Uh, well, actually, it's administered through a company called OnView, and OnView has locations all over the world. Hopefully, you can find one near you, or you can take it remotely. You can actually do the exam online. Jump over to apple.com to find the details on that. You can register through them and take the exam. That's all handled through Apple, not through IT Pro TV. Well, I'm excited about this course, and like I said earlier, I've been in every single episode, but Don, why are you excited about the course? Uh, you know, I, I just, I, I love Apple computers. They're really cool. Uh, underneath, too. they run Unix, and so that's a, an area that I'm really comfortable in, and so I like having the best of both worlds, a good GUI on top of a powerful operating system. So Macs are, are really wonderful, and I just love giving people a chance to learn about new computers and how to interact with them. As do I. Well, listen, if the ACSP, uh, Mac OS 11, Big Sur is something that you should be interested in, you should be interested in it. I'm Zach Memes. I'm Don Pizzette. And thank you for watching.